I am Dr. T. S. Clare. I am Chairman of uh, Cardiovascular Medicine at uh, BLK Max Hospital, New Delhi. Today I want to tell you that uh, when we talk about heart disease, uh, there are many kinds of disorders like coronary artery disease, hypertensive heart disease, rheumatic heart disease. But where the most of the people are not aware of that almost 12 to 15 percent of the all heart problems are rhythm problems. Where Cardiac electrophysiologists understand and teach these uh, uh, patients. So cardiac electrophysiology is a branch of uh, uh, heart disease where we deal with the heart rhythm problems. So normally the heart beat is regular and it is between 60 and 100. So any disease where the heart rate becomes slow, below 60 or it becomes high and it is not physiological, it is pathological in nature or the heart rate becomes irregular or there may be combinations, slow and irregular, fast and irregular. These are all called heart rhythm problems and roughly if you see the total heart disease, roughly 15% of the patients have primarily rhythm problem of the heart, 85% may have additional other cardiac lesions. Now you should also understand that how a heart rhythm problem is noticed by the patient. So patients have either palpitations, feeling of very fast heart rate or they may have just feeling of something going bad uh, in, the, in the chest, some kind of you know abnormal feeling or they can have a, a, a feeling of being unconscious or they can become unconscious. We call it syncope. So syncope, palpitations or Pre-syncope means patient doesn't go unconscious but a feeling of blanking out is, is the symptom and many patients may have just abnormal feeling in the chest, some degree of chest discomfort, chest pain. So all these symptoms if you have that means you are dealing with a, some kind of heart rhythm problem and you need to consult a, consult a cardiac electrophysiology. The good thing is that in heart cardiac electrophysiology most of the rhythm problems nowadays are very well treatable and almost I would say 50% of these problems are totally curable particularly the tachycardias coming from the upper chamber of the heart from the junction of the heart or even from the ventricle lower chambers when the heart is normal these are curable but then there are arrhythmias which are not totally curable but they are controllable for example if you have a damaged heart and you have a very fast heart rate coming from the lower chamber of the heart a ventricular tachycardia then we have a implantable devices which can control these uh, uh, rhythm problems. The device is called ICD or implantable cardioverter defibrillator. So this device, if you develop a tachycardia, it can treat by two means. One is called painless method, which is called anti-tachycardia pacing. Supposing the heart rate is 180, the device will start pacing at 190 for 10 seconds and it will stop the tachycardia terminates. Or if a patient, if this doesn't work or a patient has a cardiac arrest, it can be automatically internal shock. As you must have seen in some movies that we give uh, electric shock to the patient to revive a cardiac arrest patient. But this is already implanted in the body. So you don't lose any time within 10 seconds, the device will diagnose and give it a shock. So <clears throat> radio frequency ablation is a great step in the in the treatment of uh, heart rhythm problems and many of these diseases are curable and this, the most surprising thing is that we don't we don't do surgery we do all these treatments without surgery based on the catheters and many of these patients are not even given any anesthesia uh, it is done in local anesthesia so i think uh, this is the information which i wanted to give hopefully it will help thank you